No, no. Well, hello, my lovely Nessings, and welcome to today's video, which is going to be another new makeup and lifestyle releases. And I am excited. I have a lot to talk about. So let's just get on with it. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Nikki. I'm 45 from the Netherlands, hence the accent. And if you love makeup just as much as I do, if you want to hear about brands that no one else is talking about, if you want to be entertained and inspired and you just want to have plain old fun, then this is the channel for you. Subscribe now, become part of my nestlings because we are having a blast here on the internet. And you should subscribe because very interesting things are coming very, very soon. Yes. What does today's video entail? Uh, as I said in the beginning, new makeup release, but not just makeup. I have some, do I have skincare? I have skincare. I have kind of perfume. I have lifestyle. I have updates as well. New makeup. I have a lot of things. So let's just kind of move stuff out of the way. Shall I go to this side? Yes, yeah, sure. So let's go to this side so I can put up pictures there. And let's start, let's just start with the first thing, because honestly, I have a lot to talk about. Um, let's start with this, which is lifestyle. This is How Curious Limited. That's, that's the company. They are based in the UK and they have witchy, funny, vibey stuff. They also have um, um, mystery boxes. I will link the shop down below. It's very, very fun. So what I actually saw was, was this, what you see. The ghost of every plant I've ever killed. That's so me, though. The, it, it is. Yeah, I, I don't have green fingers unless I have green nail polish on. But if I have plants in-house, yeah, it usually doesn't go well. So... If you see plants behind me, they're all plastic. Those I can keep alive. But yeah, this is just very, very fun. It's a very fun company. I also have this, which is the Witch's Brew tea set. It's a Witch's Brew tea set. How, how fun. How fun. I like this a lot. So I will leave down below where you can find it. I will leave the site below. I think it's just so, so fun. And I love stuff like this. So thank you so, so much sending it to me in DM on Instagram. I love to chat about it. Yes, let's go next to this, which is from Colors uh, Cultura. This is an embroidered clutch uh, slash crossbody, and it's made in uh, Chiapa, Chiapas, Mexico. I know I'm not pronouncing that correctly, but I actually don't know how to pronounce it. So please let me know down in the comment section how I need to pronounce that. And she is not only making these, though. Uh, she's not only making clutches, and they look very, very cool and fun and colorful. And But she also makes earrings. She also makes shoes, but the shoes are leather, just so you know. Very fun and colorful. And she has, oh, oh yeah, earrings. She has um, dangly things. She has all sorts of hats. She has all sorts of things. So I will leave her Instagram handle down below. Does she have... Uh, yeah, her Instagram handle down below because it's DM to order. So I will I will do that for you guys. Okay, let's next go to Druzy Days. These I saw and I was like, oh, they are so pretty. So this is actually a question. Should these make a reappearance before Valentine's Day? These are rose quartz heart minis with a moon on it, wrapped uh, wire technique, you know. She has... Or at least I think it's a she. The company has so many stunning things. It's definitely, definitely worth to check out. She is based, or they are based in Maryland. Catonsville, Maryland. It's a wire-wrapped jewelry artist. Inspired by the nature of, uh, by nature and elven design. Yeah, I will link this down below. This is just so, so stunning. Uh, yeah, truly So go check her out, especially now, you know, with um, Valentine's Day coming up and such very, very giftable or just for yourself, you know. Okay, the next thing that I have, and that's the last thing in this category, then we go to makeup. But this is just too cute not to talk about. This is from Fairy Realtor. Can we just appreciate? I love that. What can I say? I'm a sucker for stuff like this. And this is, I think, polymer clay. So this is baked. So you... Um, Yeah, you could theoretically leave this outside as well. I think this is just too cute. So that's why I wanted to mention it. Because I love stuff like this. And I will leave that side below as well. Okay, next we are going to go to 
makeup let's start with something that i started to kind of bitch about last week which was um, I was bitching about BH Cosmetics Hold that thought, I will come back to BH Cosmetics in just a minute But I was bitching about the Aquarius palette And the fact that we always get blue Yeah, that's it's all Yeah, I mentioned a company that um, did very interesting Zodiac themed palettes And I went looking and you guys helped me and I found it It's the Zodiac Cosmetics They are based in Las Vegas, Nevada Now let me show you their version of Aquarius And here you see it We still have two blues But there's so much more going on here And this is a summer I don't know how vibrant If it is as vibrant as it is on the picture So they have for each sign They have a palette And it's way more interesting and exciting Than any other company I have seen so far What they also have are element palettes So they have air, water, fire or earth But even these are More interesting than just your The most monochromatic one is the fire one And the rest What is pink doing in, in water? I don't know, if you put red in water it turns pink I don't know, but I think that the color stories are way 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 more interesting Now I've never tried this brand, if you have let me know But I did want to mention the fact that there is indeed a brand out there that does very interesting zodiac things Just so you know Let's next go to uh, another update We have a new shade from Nomad Cosmetics The So Amused I love the puns, I love the puns so so much uh, It's coming really really soon guys, the 25th of January Yes, I have it in house. You will get from me five looks in one video, inspiration, and so you can see how the shadows performed. And I will do an eye swatching video, and in that eye swatching video, I, that's also the review video. I also do compare swatches between some of their other palettes and this palette. So if you want to see that, make sure that you are subscribed and have hit the bell so you will be notified when the videos go online. Suffice it to say, she's very, very pretty in person, like me. Never mind, but it's coming soon, it's coming the 25th And yeah, I cannot wait to hear you guys' reaction when you see the palette Honestly um, Yeah, it's not limited edition, it will retail for $39 Are you excited? Let me know down below uh, Let's next then go to BH Cosmetics Because <coughs> stuff is happening there, isn't it? Um, yeah, the whole internet is, I think, a buzz Because BH Cosmetics has filed for chapter, chapter 11 It's not bankruptcy per se, but it's chapter 11 bank... I think it was bankruptcy protection. Okay, so what does the chapter 11 bankruptcy entail uh, for the United States courts? It says uh, the, it's, it generally provides for reorganization, uh, usually involving a cooperation or partnership. A check. Chapter 11 debtor usually proposes a plan of reorganization to keep its business alive and pay creditors over time. So... That's basically what it is. So they are not doing they are not doing good, but they are not bankrupt just yet. There are thoughts that I have about what I think they should be doing, but this is not the video for that. But you at least know I know of it. This is what happens. It is called chapter 11 bankruptcy. That's what it is, and it doesn't mean that they are out of business just yet. It just means that they are looking for a way to stay in business. That's basically the gist of it. Let's go to something that I did see. Uh, from BH Cosmetics Germany And that is their Lunar New Year Tiger Palette um, I kind of like this one I actually decluttered the one from last year Because that contained, I think it was five press glitters Now on the picture that I have here When I kind of saw the swatches a little bit It did not look like they did have press glitters in them But I am actually not sure I need to check that on my computer And I will leave it on the screen Yay or nay If it is glitter But I do think that the color story is cute I think the color story is nice Yeah, what can I say And I did like the mattes from last year's palette but And the shimmers were okay um, They were more I want to say the traditional shimmer, sh shimmer formula Which I don't mind at all I like this color story more Than the other palettes that they recently released That I talked about last, last week So let me know your thoughts down below though Okay mm, Now Yes, what else do I have? Uh, so I talked about that, right? Yeah, so let's go next to uh, Sydney Grace Because Sydney Grace is releasing two new eyeshadow palettes They are called Be Mine And it is the same as she has done before She ha basically, ha she has the same color story One is very well suited for lighter skin And one is very well suited for darker skin So you can 
choose which one you want to get. Um, they will launch January the 26th at uh, 9 a.m. PST. And yeah, they will come in a light and a deep version. Uh, the difference, the different shadows are Smooch, All Mine, Love Me, Flirty, Soulmates and Darling. Uh, and it says here, both palettes were created to look very similar, but they did uh, deepen a few of the shadows to complement darker skin tones. I like, I like the color story. I think the color story is very pretty. I like the fact that you have basically your yellow brown toned row, then you have a rosy toned, and then below that are very, very pretty shimmers. Um, I still really want to try Sydney Grace, and I, I hope that she will be able to restock Mel's palette really, really soon, because that's a palette that I want. That is a palette that I want very, very much so. Uh, these will retail. I thought I also had prices. I thought I had prices, but I don't know. I think 54, if I'm not mistaken. But regardless, um, let's see. Is it here maybe the price? Oh, $52 each. Yes, that was the price. So yeah, they look very, very pretty. What can I say? Yeah, they look stunning. Let me know down below your thoughts. Are you excited about this or not? Uh, well, I really love this color story. The, pa the palette that I want is Mel's palette. So I hope that they will restock that soon as well. Next, I have some news from Sigil Inspired. Because we are getting a new egg palette. Yes, 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 yes. Um, this is the week of Sapphire Feathers. And the new egg palette will be the peacock palette the color story is complete i will show the picture the color story is complete do you really need me to answer if i'm going to get it or not this will drop the 23rd which is the birthday of my son anyway yeah this uh, usually she releases her new palettes on sunday 12 o'clock moscow time or 12 noon moscow time so google what that is in your own time zone just google moscow time too and then the time zone you are in and then you will get the conversion you know um there will be there will be two sizes because there are always two sizes there is the normal size pants which is 26 millimeter and there's a micro size yeah i'm getting this because i have all of her egg palettes and this color story two shimmers then no two mattes then two shimmers and a I think a duochrome and a multichrome. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what they retail for. It's in it's in Russian rubles. I think I'm I'm guessing it's the same price as the snake palette, which was a little bit more expensive, uh, but definitely worth it in my opinion. So yeah, this one will be mine. I will set my alarm for this. Just saying. And yes, I do have to pay uh, VAT when I get it from Moscow to here. So it is more, an, it's a more expensive palette, but still, I do think that they're worth it. For me, at least. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Because it's... Mm. Yes, there's a blue in there. I can live with that. Yeah, I want this one. What can I say? Okay, let's next go to Colourpop. Because they have kind of expanded on... They, they released a B palette and... Um, uh, what's it called? A dragonfly palette uh, not too long ago at Alta. And they have expanded that collection. And there are things available just on Colourpop's own site. If you want to see everything swatched, go watch Amanda from Makeup Just For Fun. I will link her channel down below because she did a video. Um, so the Glow, yeah, the Glow Getter collection, the So Fly collection and the Wannabe collection. Each collection includes an eyeshadow palette, a highlighter and a super shock shadow duo. Uh, yeah, but there's also lip oils in the collection. Yeah, they look pretty. Yeah, that, that B, what can I say? It's the B collection, the B palette. Put a B on it and, and you got me, honestly. So, uh, yeah, they will be, they are available already. And there are discount codes available if you want to use some as well. Let me know if you are getting anything from this collection. Let me know. Yeah, let me know. Okay, um, next is... Oh yeah, Gloss Gods. I got tagged in this, I believe. So, or I got it sent through the M. So here I have a new brand for me, and I think for you as well. It's called Gloss Gods, and it is based in Sweden. Which is good for us in the EU. Uh, it's an indie brand based in Sweden. Featured on the picture here is an all duochrome and multichrome palette. It looks very pretty. It looks very pretty. Now, I, I, I don't know the brand. I have no idea. Uh, they also have eyeshadow bases. Um, 
and they have more things so i i actually don't know what it retails for let's see uh i don't know if the site is in english yes the site is in english uh the prices are in Sh swedish crowns what i can see so they have nine pan palettes in different colors um oh the palette that i showed you the gal on the moon is sold out but okay that's that's okay i don't know the price conversion though i have no idea i don't know if it's expensive or not i don't know but i will link it down below where you can find it if you know this brand let me know let me know because um yeah i am actually very very interested so yeah that's it let me know down below let me know if you know the brand uh it, i i always like finding new indie brands so let's go to this which is from natasha denona which is the um, uh, mini kit for valentine's day yeah it's available uh, in europe i've seen it on sephora friends so it's basically the same as with her mini metropolis you get a, a five pen eyeshadow palette and an atrocious brush um brush yeah i kind of like it to buff out my eyeshadow base that's what i like it for um the color story it's very rosy and it is not what i'm going for when i see the swatches they look very very pretty uh these are shades that are existing but i think no longer in stock so you get the shade uh, daisy uh, lotus koi soul and claret claret Clare, no, that's the French word. Uh, yeah, it, it, it looks pretty. I have seen it on Sephora, but it's not something that I am uh, looking to add to my collection per se. Let's go next to uh, Crow Pebble because she has uh, released uh, five new scents. Uh, you can get them as a sampler set, the new set, but you can also customize the sampler set. And they are five mil bot, no. Um, they are very i have one here so this is this is one of the samplers from her previous collection this is actually uh capra amalthea oh they are so yummy uh and the the bigger ones so the full size are five milliliter bottles uh, the master scent list uh let's see they have an in-depth list on their site which i will link down below but basically the scent notes are for looper lupercalia it's a darker leather and rose scent with black tea and a hint of smoke master of bears is a very uh, herbal earthy scent featuring geranium and eucalyptus in its star notes i don't know what that means uh, lady featherlight is a soft and sweet scent with purple flowers and pale amber i think i will like that one i love amber uh, bearer of secrets is a woody fruity brand of dry wood peach and lilac sounds yummy as well and then sea wolf a dark and salty blend featuring patchouli pine and aquatic notes i have uh, the first and the second uh releases i like the second more in the first there's one that i really like the second set i really do like all actually all of them and i maybe maybe i will grab these as well just to see how i like them she is based in the uk and go check her out because she has amazing things on her site she has all kinds so i will link uh, i will link it down below and my link is a referral link if you use that you get a discount and i earn store credit that's how it works okay let's next go to clarity cosmetics because they are coming out with a new eyeshadow palette as well it is called the bloom palette and i thought we knew when it was going to launch as well mm, yes it will launch february the 4th at 10 a.m cst and it will retail for 48 bucks it looks stunning yeah it looks stunning uh i do have an affiliate code with clarity cosmetics it will save you five percent i don't know if there are ten percent codes out there i have no idea but i do have a code if you want to use it it will be down in the description box i think it's raven if i'm not mistaken but it will be listed down below uh, yeah this looks stunning so yeah let me know if you are excited and if you are picking it up let's next go to unearthly cosmetics because the update that i have from unearthly cosmetics is that she has restocked a heap load of eyeshadow palettes you see here a, a picture of this strawberry cream and it now says unearthly on the front uh, but the rest is still the same inside i have an affiliate code with unearthly cosmetics that will save you 10 it will be listed down below it's nikki raven if i'm not mistaken yes 
No, I'm not saying it's Nikki Raven. Yeah. Um, and all my codes are in the description box. And also the brands, the products that I will mention will also be in the description box today. She restocked a bunch. She restocked the strawberry milkshake. She restocked, I don't, I think the not normal palette, the lore palette, and maybe a few others. But I will leave her site down below for you to check out. Okay, let's next go to the Inky List. Because the Inky List has released uh, two new products. A Hyaluronic Acid Cleaner. I'm not interested at all. I am not a fan of Hyaluronic Acid. Uh, but the next one I am interested in. And that's the Omega Water Cream. It is a light gel consistency. Absor absorbs quickly into the skin. Um, Extremely hydrating and it does not contain hyaluronic acid. It's glycerin based for which I am very very grateful This is on my list to try When this comes to I can order it from from their own site, but Oh, yeah, see I need to mention something that's coming to beauty bay, but this is one that I really 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 want to try. I think I will love this especially in the summer Just so you know, so Let's then go to Beauty Bay, I don't know the time that this brand will release, but it will release today on Beauty Bay Are you sitting down? It is Martina Cosmetics And I know that a lot of you will be rejoicing right now Because Mart if you don't know Martina Cosmetics uh, Martina Cosmetics is a Belgian indie brand and I mentioned them last week because they released well They restocked a palette that I'm still very much eyeing um, But their site is in French and... That's a thingy, especially if you don't speak French, let's face it So the fact that they are now uh, coming to Beauty Bay today, the 21st It makes it just so, so much easier So if the brand is already online on Beauty Bay By the time you are seeing this, it will be directly linked It will be an affiliate link, but it will be directly linked And otherwise I will link to uh, Beauty Bay itself And then you have to basically search Martina Cosmetics But I hope... Um, I hope it's already online by the time this video goes live So I can link there directly Yeah, this will make it so much, so much easier And uh, congratulations Martina Cosmetics on being in Beauty Bay Because also for the brand itself It will be so, they will, this will increase their sales so much Because a lot of you know for, of Martina Cosmetics through me and some other influencers But most of you are in the USA And yeah, it, it's quite scary to order from a site that you that you have no idea if you're doing it correctly So I know that there were a lot of you who did not get my favorite palette Which is the 669 because of that If it is on Beauty Bay, then you can And I will then update my links in the description boxes as well To reflect that, yeah I'm very, very excited about that Let's next go to Shine by SD Cosmetics Because actually I got a comment from one of you on my video with V Cosmetics The, so the As Above So Below palette That you first thought that it was Shine by XD or by SD Well, it's not, but <laughs> the V Cosmetics palette released at the end of last year And it's not weird for her to have this theme I do want to kind of clarify on that a little bit Especially if you don't know the brand V Cosmetics is basically a witchy brand It is a Wiccan brand It's a pagan brand That means that we are And I believe that as well so As above, so below It's something that is very much commonly used in our Let's call it a religion, lifestyle, whatever you want to call it So for her to come out with a palette like that It's very, very natural, let's just say that uh, Shine by SD, I have not tried this brand before Or I have not tried this brand yet But they have uh, the duality collection as above and, and so below So it's two palettes It's in collaboration with Bizarro Volta and M. Jones and 5018 Both are Instagram handles And I hope that I will have the room to link them down below as well uh, The Instagram handles that is I will do my absolute best um, They are custom blend multi-chromes They will launch January the 22nd So that's tomorrow 1pm EST uh, They will launch as a pre-order And the shipping will begin on February the 11th So I also have prices If you want a single You know, just one or the other, so as above or so below The bundle uh, of six shadows is 108 Canadian dollars or 86 US dollars uh, Including a palette, then you pay 114 or 90 US dollars If you want both, so the as above and the so below The single 12 single bundle is then 214 Canadian dollars Which is 170 
US dollars. And if you want them including the palette, it will be 226 Canadian dollars or 180 US dollars. Now, these look stunning. I know that multi-chromes are expensive. I don't know if these will be worth the money. I have no idea. If you have tried SD Cosmetics, let us know down in the comment section if the price is definitely worth it. Because while they look stunning, it's not very cheap, you know? And if it's worth it, then I don't care uh, about the expense. But if it's not, then we, we, do, we need to know about it, you know? So let us know down below. They are a custom blend multi-chrome. Yeah, this is, is stunning. It's stunning. What can I say? What can I say? Okay, next I have uh, Madage Beauty London because they are going to release a new collection as well. Um, it's called the Extraordinary Collection. It is eight new NV single eyeshadows, four new Lip Envy Mega Matte lipsticks, four new uh, Lip Envy Super Satin lipsticks, and then four new Starlight Lip Glosses. It has released already, and I will link the site down below. I do have a I do have a discount code with them, which works on their entire site because they're also a reseller site. Uh, I have tried their single eyeshadows. The formula is outstanding. It's not what I use though, but the formula is outstanding and I have tried them. So the single eyeshadows are not for me. The lipsticks, I am actually pretty interested in uh, because I think that the colors are pretty. I have... I have tried their lipstick formula, but I don't know if it was a matte formula, actually. I do like their liquid lipsticks. I think they're very nice. And I have I have a gloss, but I haven't tried it yet. So I don't, I don't know. But I do like the colors of this. Yeah, I hope they will just release a palette one day. Because I personally don't use these type of single eyeshadows. But if you, I don't know, for instance, just want a black. Because that's what, mi what is missing in your collection, you know. It's a very, very... Very nice quality. So yeah, again, I will link down below where you can find it. Uh, what is this? This is Huda. Uh, because she has new lipsticks uh, in eight OG shades and eight new shades. Mm. So she revamped them with the best formula possible for the liquid matte lipsticks. One swipe application, eight hour wear. Uh, ultra comfortable vegan formula, transfer proof, streak proof, and smudge proof. Uh, and there are a bunch of good ingredients for your lips in them. Um, uh, let's see. It says also it's the thinnest possible formula with no stickiness. I'm actually quite interested in these. They retail for 20 bucks each. There are some very, very pretty shades. So basically the shade Sugar Boo, which is a yellowy based uh, brown and yeah, I love a shade like this. So if I were to try a shade, it would probably be that one. Yeah, that's I think that's the prettiest one. Sugar Boo, yeah, yeah, that's a very very pretty. It's a very very pretty shade. I I could see myself trying that. If you have tried this for me, uh, let me know how it is because I'm curious. What do I have here? Oh yeah, we we have a new makeup release from uh, Makeup Revolution. And I'm kind of loving it, but I'm kind of hating it at the same time. So it is their Lion King collection. It is called Hakuna Matata. I It's it's a phrase that I love. Um, this palette that you see, uh, they have a bigger palette. And they have three nine pen eyeshadow palettes. Two highlighters, eye crayon set, lip glosses, mascara and liner. It's available now. Let's talk about the bigger eyeshadow palette. I really like the color story. The front, I detest the front. They should not have done the the the, the 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 leopard print. No. No. No, they should just have done the scene, you know, with Pumba and um what's the thing called? It's been a while since I watched the movie, but it's it's an iconic scene. When I look at the 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 open palette, so you see the four pictures, yeah, the one where the palette is open, it looks like the pants are crooked because of the way that they have uh, done the background. And that's annoying as hell. But when I look at the white, so just the shades, I really do like the color story. And it's such a shame because they have done... <sighs> yeah, this is not iHeart Revolution, but... The, the collections that they have done with iHeart Revolution and Disney, those are stunning to look at. This? No. no. Yeah, the color story is fun. But I detest the way that the palette is looking. And then let's go to the 
to the smaller palettes. I don't get the color stories at all. Um, the one from, I think it's Simba, right? The one with the, the yellowy one in the middle. I can kind of see that because in a jungle, those are kind of colors that you can find. Yeah, but I, Scar with blues? No. They should have grabbed the, what's the bird? Is that the, the, the peacocky bird? The, I think it's a peacock, right? No. But the big, big toucan. That color story could have been for the toucan. But, no, I don't like these. I like the one from Simba. I like the, I love the color story of that palette a lot. I can kind of live with the front. Um, and I can live with the inside. So that's the one I like the best. Scar, no. It's too, it's too happy for Scar. It should have been angry and dark and it should have been a black palette uh, with him on the front and dark and moody colors yeah honestly because of the 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 colors that they put on the front the character is just fading away against the background this collection could have been so awesome um but i think they failed and i love makeup revolution i love them And if this had been a different outer packaging, I would have wanted to try the bigger palette. Because I like the color story a lot. But as it stands, no. No. No, but let me know your thoughts. Are you uh, excited? Are you excited uh, or not? I'm not. <laughs> But now uh, I can I can go and save it for my uh, for another video that I'm going to do. Um, what else do I have? Oh yeah, let's go to this from Elf, which is their cookies and cream collection. Um, what I like is the fact that they have done their 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 primer like an Oreo. I think that's fun. Um, the color story, yeah, I don't hate it. If they had said that this was an Aquarius palette, I would have believed them. So I'm not excited about it, but I don't hate it at all. I think it's fun. Um, yeah, I think it's a fun color story. It's not exciting, but that's okay. And then there are glosses. Yeah, so the black gloss, a black gloss is weird. Let's, I have, I have a black gloss and I don't, still don't know how I feel about this. But yeah, you get a, a black, a white and a blue. And they have some eyeshadow sticks. Um... It's, it's a complete collection. So yeah, the eyeshadow palette retails for nine. It is a matte shimmer and metallics. There's an exfoliator, lip glosses, eyeshadow sticks, an overnight mask, a putty primer, a sponge, and then a brush set. Yeah, I think it's fun. Um, I like e.l.f. There are things that I... The CC cream, for instance, is one of my favorites. Their eyeshadow formula is okay. Nothing to write home about, but it is okay. So I did want to mention it. I haven't seen anyone really talk about it, but honestly, I have not really watched a lot of makeup uh, release videos uh, in the last week. So, yeah, but I, I think a lot of people will find this very, very pleasing and will be over the moon. I am meh. <laughs> but let me know your thoughts down below. Let's next go to Saints, Angel, Sinners, because uh, that girl, she's on a roll. It's just insane. I have two new palettes. I have the Get Lucky and I have the Doll Face. Um, wait, Get Lucky is an all shimmer palette and Doll Face is, has some mattes as well. So it's more of your neutrally, neutrally palette. Let's see if I have a little bit more information. I think they are up for pre-order in her Etsy shop. I'm not sure, but I will link her Etsy shop down below. I know that stuff is coming my way, but I still have stuff that I want to play with. I have played with two of her eyeshadow palettes and can I just say, oh my lord. Stunning quality. Yeah, this is a brand that is so... I'm so excited about this brand. And um, yeah, and the owner is a sweetheart. I am very, very excited. So I will link her Etsy shop down below. I do have a discount code with her. That will be linked down below as well. Um, yeah, these look stunning. What can I say? They look stunning. Uh, next I have from a Capricorn eyeshadow palette. Oh no, wait. Ensley Rain Cosmetics. This is their Capricorn eyeshadow palette. This is so pretty. 
This is a dark, moody, swampy palette. I think this is a stunning color story. I will link the site down below. It's stunning. I don't know if it is specifically... Let's see. A uh, new Capricorn eyeshadow palette. Um, it has launched January the 14th. So if they, if they are doing... Zodiacs. Hmm. I think this is the first one. They are in Oregon. Let me see. Because if this is the first one that they are doing for the Zodiac, I am uh, quite interested to see the rest. Uh, it looks to be mattes and shimmers. Ah, this is yummy. If you're a Capricorn, do you like this? Do you? I do. But I'm not a Capricorn, but I do really like this one. I really like this color story. I don't know what it retails for because it doesn't say so here, but it's beautiful. And I will link down below where you can find it. And I'm very interested to see uh, more of their Zodiacs coming out. Yeah. Uh, that is it. Let me know if you know the brand. Let me know down below. Uh, what do I have? Oh, I have two things left. It's it's a long one, but I have two things left. Let's go to two things. These are older releases, but I did not have time for them last week. This is from Genelica. There are f uh, three uh, new uh, face palettes. Uh, each palette uh, has four shades mixed with highlighter, blush and contour. You get an Aria, an Enya and a Lia. And they retail for 15 uh, bucks each. They are travel friendly, pigmented, vegan and cruelty free. They are av oh, no, available now. I love the artwork. I love the artwork of Genelica. I have actually tried one of their eyeshadow palettes, which was the only, I think the only one that they had without pressed glitters in them. The formula, very, very nice. Uh, I also tried one of their uh, liquid lipsticks, which was more of a vinyl liquid lip. Stunning, stunning, stunning formula. These look very pretty. The light one is a little bit too, it's too... Uh, a cool tone, too pink for me. Uh, it will look weird on my skin tone. Then I have the middle one, which is uh, orange and red based. And then I have, no, I think that's the deep one. And then the middle one is a little bit more red. Am I, am I correct in that? I think so. Let me know if you've tried these. Uh, it's not necessarily something for me, but it has been a while since I saw something of the brand. And I really like the brand, so I wanted to talk about it. So, uh, yeah, and I love the artwork as well. I think that is just so, so cool. So I will link down below where you can find them. Go check them out. Then the last thing that I have is actually a brand in the Netherlands. It is... Uh, they make everything themselves. They are based in Amsterdam and they are called Low Care. So it says here, durable, beauty essentials for considerate living, uh, all natural and always plastic free. I will leave the site down below. They have, uh, looks to be multifunctional products, uh, which I am all for, but it's not how I do my makeup. But because they are based in the... In, in the Netherlands, I wanted to mention these. They do, uh, for instance, the pot that you see. Yeah, so basically the pots you can do on your lips, on your cheeks and on your eyes. So it is a multifunctional product. And I think that that is something that a lot of people will love. Especially if you love quick and easy makeup looks, you know. So yeah, I will leave down below where you can find it. And then that is that is it for today. I am still here at the site because this is also my weekly shout out for my members that you will see scrolling on the screen right now. And yeah, thank you so, so much for being a member. I am going to change my membership though. Right now I only have to have one tier. I'm going to make two more tiers. So yeah, if you have anything that you kind of want to have in a specific tier, let me know. And maybe I will add it if it is a very nice idea. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you like the video, oops, <laughs> if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, my playlist of these videos will be listed on the end screen. Oh yeah, and there's also, I keep forgetting to tell you, there's also a community playlist that is listed in the description box started by samantha march who was basically the creator of the will i buy it series yes thank you so so much for watching if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you have any questions or comments please leave them down in the comment section below i'm going to wish you a fantastic day a fabulous evening may your foundation always match your neck and i will see you i think sunday for a very very cool video make sure you are subscribed bye guys mm -hmm.